Okay, so in today's video, what we're going to be doing, Gabe, is we're going to be running our first conversions ad. So this is when we really start to go into our local audience and, and, and bring value on just educating that local audience on the process of selling and giving away a free seller guide. So here's what I want to want to want to also do is I want to kind of set the expectations and I want to kind of and I want to kind of just right really just lay down the reality of of what this what what ads are all about from this point on because of, uh, most many many people most most people not just agents but just every anyone in general that were that anyone that comes over here to run an ad they automatically just think that the one ad is gonna is gonna bring leads and it just it nine out of ten times it doesn't work that way. This is the beginning of a process. So as we roll out this first ad, what we're really getting out of it is data. Leads, leads could be one thing. Leads on a first ad, sometimes they don't even come on the first ad. On the first ad, the second ad, sometimes even the third ad, what it's really all about is the data, is, is, is the fact that, okay, we have this video up and we're going to be doing the, 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 the video here. We'll be posting it here in a second. But, but, but what I'm talking about is the fact that in the first few ads of us doing that, it's about the data. It's about now, as we target a local audience, let's say the video, it's one, the video is one minute. What we're really getting out of it is the data, which is the custom audience. So if I put out a one minute video, the video that we're going to put up right now, let's say it's one minute. What we're getting out of that is the percentage of people that are watching a percentage. So if it's a one minute video, we're going to capture that audience of those who are watching it for at least 25%. That's data. Now that we have a, a learn more button. So now we're going into conversions. Now we're going into lead capture. Now there's going to be a learn more button where people click on it and go to your webpage. Now that's also more data. So now what we're going to be getting out of this is those that are actually clicking, going over to the landing page, but for whatever reason, didn't opt in. And so that's data. So in the first ad, we're going to capture that data. In the second ad, we're going to capture that data. So what it really comes down to is a long-term play. Now, I'm not referring to months as, as far as long-term. I'm just talking a few ads, three, two, three, four ads. Like we have to roll out where, where, where our whole objective, and what was our objective with this first one? That was your first intro video right there. The whole objective with that one was to capture the audience. Right. So it's a, if, if it's a, if it's a, a, how long was that? 26 seconds? Yeah. 20. Okay. So 26 seconds, we capture an audience of those who watch it for 15 seconds. That was worth the data. That's the data. So now we take that data, that custom audience, and we're going to show them this next ad. And so that's how it works, where it's like, you have to also look at it. A lot of us, when we advertise, we tend to not even, not even, we tend to, we tend to not even look at it anymore from a consumer's perspective. We're all consumers. Like we're all consumers. I'm on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on social media consuming information all day. So you have to also look at it as you put out your content. You have to also look at it from the consumer's perspective, where when was the last time that you actually saw something for the very first time, clicked on it and gave up all your information? I see. I see. You very, very, very rarely ever do yes. that. Like yeah. I cannot tell you the last time I saw something for the very first time, clicked on it and fell in love with the information. I agree. I, right. I agree. So, so what I'm trying to really, really say is again, I'm trying to set the expectations where it's like, now we're going into your local audience. We're going into your local backyard where we now have to build that relationship. We now have to stay consistent with running a handful of ads so that local audience can continue to see us and know that you're an authority. It's going to take it's going to take a few times for that individual to see you. That's why the custom audiences are so important, because now we're going to be able to create the custom audience of those who watch this one, create the custom audience of those who watch the next one, create the custom audience of those who watch the third video. And before you know it, when we're on our fourth ad and we're retargeting everyone who's been watching our past three videos, that's what creates the magic. That's right. when that local audience is like, man, I keep seeing this guy. And this guy keeps talking about one topic. This guy keeps educating me on the process of selling. And this guy's also saying that he's giving away a free download. This is the fourth time I'm seeing him. He, 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 it seems like he's in the city. We live in Culver City ourselves, honey. Let me, let me download his offer and see what he's talking about. But that took a few times of seeing you, right? 
So it's not one magic ad. It's not one magic video that's going to capture 57 leads for us all of a sudden, especially in the very, very beginning. Right. And so when what I've seen after after consulting thousands of agents, thousands of real estate agents, particularly thousands of agents, I could teach them all the tech. I could teach them how to run the ad. I could teach them the custom audience. I could teach them the pages, the landing pages, Kartra, all that. I could teach them all the back end tech side of it all. But where I see everyone drop the ball is the consistency of putting out an ad. That's it. They'll put out an ad or here and then, and, then, and then life happens, business happens, kids are, you know, whatever, life gets in the way and they don't put out the next ad. And, 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 then, and then, or they expect that that first ad to bring in all the leads and for them to get rich. It's like, man, it doesn't work that way. Like you're creating a brand. And so we have to continue to brand ourselves in that local area. It's either this, Gabe, it's either you keep putting out videos to your local audience every week or you go out there door knocking. Got it. Right. You know what I mean? So this right here is by far the best in my professional opinion, but I just want us to stay consistent. I want us to, 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 I wanted to set the expectations where it's like, this is a, a, it's a consistent thing. And before you know it, after a few videos, that whole town is going to know who you are. And, 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 and that's what it's all about is, is the consistency. So we've been consistent so far and now we're finally on this conversion ad. So go ahead and post the, the video. And, and that, this is where it all starts. It, it, it comes down to recording that video on your cell phone, transmitting it over to your computer, and then uploading it over here um, onto your business page. So yeah, you can, you can write the, the same you know, line you had earlier, and then, and then we'll, just, we'll just go from there. I would like to add some value to your life. Yeah, so let, let's, let's break this down. If, I would like to add some value to your life if you're planning on selling. My name is Gabriel. Let, let's add a little bit to that. My name is Gabriel, and I am your local realtor. Watch the video below, and at the end, or let, let, let's say, I would like to add some value to your life if you're planning on selling. My name is Gabriel, and I am your local realtor. I put together a free 2021 seller guide that I'd love to give you. Or I put together a, I put together a 2021 seller guide that teaches you different strategies on selling your property. And I would like to give it to you for free. Something like that. You know, so we want to, we want to kind of put that in the text. Um, and we don't, we don't always need to write a huge story right here. Um, but maybe a few sentences in, 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 in really putting our message across here, which is the free download download. I want to give this to you for free. Putting that in there is, is, is really, is really important. I would like to add some value to your life. If you're planning on selling, my name is Gabriel and I'm your local realtor. I put together a 2021 seller guide. I put together a 2021 seller guide that goes over this, 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 and this, however you want to name that. I put together a seller guide that, that goes over the top strategies that I consult my clients on when it comes to selling their house at the highest price point possible or at the highest price possible or something like that. Um, I would like to add some value to your life if you're planning on selling. My name is Gabriel and I'm your local realtor. I put together a 2021 seller guide that goes over the top strategies that I consult my clients on to sell their, their, to sell their home at the highest price possible or at the highest price point possible or something like that. Um, a 20, 21 seller guide that goes over the top strategies I consult my clients on. Let's review. Okay, so I would like to add some value to your life if you're planning on selling. My name is Gabriel and I'm your local realtor. I put together a 2021 seller guide that goes over the top strategies that I consult my clients on when it comes to selling their home that I consult my clients on when it comes to selling their home in today's market. Okay. When it, my clients on when it comes to selling their home at the highest price point possible or at the highest price possible or something like that, that I consult my clients on when it comes to selling their homes, either in today's market or selling their homes at the highest price possible. Selling their home to the highest price possible, right? 
Yes. Or some like that. Does that, does that make sense that the highest price point or clients on when it comes to selling their homes? The highest. Yeah. Selling their homes at the highest price possible price possible. Yeah. It sounds better. Yeah. Yeah. See, so. Doesn't sound right. Um. Okay, so seller guide to give their strategies that it console my clients on when it comes to selling their homes. To the when it comes to selling their homes at the highest price at possible. The yeah, at the highest. Yeah, you're right. At the highest. Misspelled completely. And I think highest is highest even a word at the high at the top at the highest. Is that correct? Co comes to selling their homes. Is it correct? Highest? Hold on. Highest. Uh, no, that's not that's not how you, that's not how you spell it, first of all. But I wonder if that's even a word. Um, highest, the highest. Um, when it comes to selling their homes, highest. When when it comes to selling their homes for top dollar. Oh. Or or when it comes to selling their homes for top dollar in today's market. That's it. Perfect. So I would like to I would like to add some value to your life if you're planning on selling. My name is Gabriel and I'm your local realtor. I put together a 2021 seller guide that goes over the top strategies I consult my clients on when it comes to selling their homes for top dollar in today's market. Boom, that's it right there. Now let's capitalize the, the S and the G in seller guide. Um, uh -huh. Okay. Hold on. So I put together a, let, let's put the word free. I put together a free, 2021 yeah i put together a free tw perfect perfect and then so now hit the little um the little image the little the the green little um picture yeah right there and that's where you upload the video so click that and then just go ahead and grab the video okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on video options and try not to click too fast real quick because i got to walk you through this part okay, click on sorry. video options yeah, this one's good, man. This is really good. See, there's a difference. Either yeah, I've been working. I thought about you know looking at anyway. Yes, man. The, the I've been was... thinking. I'm thinking ahead now, but yeah. Good, yeah. man. Good, good. This is perfect. This is how you want to be thinking. Good, man. Good, because because you you can have one video type is 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 in front of a wall like you had the background. Yeah, wall. yeah. No, no. I but, thought it's not attractive. I don't know. It was my first time. Bear with me. No, know. no, no, man. You're good, man. You're learning. We're all learning. I'm learning with you. It's a process. So, I actually am excited to learn to learn. Yes, man. This is good stuff. And, and I'm telling you, Gabe, that and that's why someone like you that has that has a full time career and now you're building a real estate business. This is how you leverage, man. These these you're going to have thousands of people down the street watching this while you're doing other things. This is you leverage. I was thinking, David, and I don't know if you might be interested to propose the company I am. They have like 400 agents. Maybe we can be like a division to help them. With yeah. Faces. No, yeah, seriously. man. We could I want to talk to the CEO. No, seriously. Yeah. Are you interested? Are you interested? I mean, maybe. Heck yeah. 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 We could do that together and we'll. we'll exactly. A, yes. Yes. We'll think Would of you... a package we can both. Exactly. Make. Yeah, man. Yes. For sure. I'm in. I want to I'm talk to you. In. I have not. I left him a voicemail already, but I want to talk to you. I haven't done anything. Okay. Yeah. Are yeah. We... Oh, count maybe me we can me. present it in a nice room. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and that could be even a spin. Where yeah, either whatever you know, we. Could, I mean, I'm not. I don't care about money at all, man. I'll, I'll, we'll, I'll give you all no, the profits. I don't even care. No, 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 but no. One, no. one way we can David, spin no, it. No, I need to look. No, no. One, one way we can spin it is that yeah, if we were to coach everyone and 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 they all need landing pages, they'll all go through your Karcher link and you make the commission on all the Karcher accounts. We, we, we have. I have a lot of ideas I can give you on that. Okay, one. sounds good. Sounds yeah. good. Whatever, whatever so, you think it's appropriate. Yeah. Yes. So now click on video options. Uh, video options. On. What is that? Hold on. Right minute. there on the picture, on the video, video options. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, click on that one. So here's why this is so important is, is uploading it on a computer, uploading it first, because these are the important edits that need to be done 
before we go and run the ad, because the moment we go and run the ad, we can't do any of this as far as the editing. So if you messed up on the text, we better find out that mess up right now. Because again, when we go set up the ad, we can't edit the text anymore. So that's why it's so important to, to put it here. And, and another reason why I put it here first is because when that ad turns off, at least the post is still here, right? Some people don't even put it on the business page first. They just go straight into the ads manager, run the ad, grab it from their download folder, run the ad, and that's that. But the reason why I don't do it that way is because the moment you turn off the ad, the video is nowhere to be found because you never put it on the business page. Correct. Right? Yeah. So put it here first. Let's do the edits. And then we go run the ad. So okay. it's evergreen. It stays here forever. So here's what we want. In the video title, as the ad runs, that video title, it's what's at the bottom left of the video. It's a little call to action. It's one line. Attention so maybe website or attention you could you could you could put attention you could put something like free you could put something like like free free 2021 seller's guide for everyone on the west side oh okay free 2020. free 2021 seller guide or seller's guide however you put it do you guys call it with an s is it seller's guide or is it seller guide seller guide i said seller guide but yeah because some say sellers. I don't I, I know. So Sell, because it's a yeah, I see what you mean. Sellers. Yeah, but but I, I, I'm just confused on what is it the S? I know so a lot of people I saw because it's the seller. I mean the guy who said I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So free 21 free 2021 sellers guide for everyone on the west side. Oh, sounds good. Perfect. Okay, so that that was really important because again, when we go run the ad. We're not going to be able to do that. We got to do everything right here. So free 2021 seller guide for everyone on the West side. Perfect. Okay. Now, in fact, let's do this. Let's capitalize each, each first letter. Let's capitalize the F, capitalize the E, capitalize the O, capitalize the, the, the I see, e. I see, I see. Yeah, let's, let's, let, let's, let's make it stand out just a little bit. Perfect. Okay. So free 2021 seller guide for everyone on the West side. Perfect. And then capitalize the T. T too? Okay. Yeah. Right, no problem. And then what we want to do is we want to, and that's a great thumbnail. That 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 um that that screenshot right here, that's a that that's a great thumbnail. Yeah, but, that's but, what but my wife did. It just see if there's anything else. Click on change thumbnail and see if there might be another another part of it. Um so if you hit change change thumbnail, you'll now see a little slide. Um go ahead and go choose, yeah, choose from video, choose from video. And then now you have this slide at the bottom where you can just, it's a, that scale where you can just slide it over um, and, and choose it, choose. Yeah. So there's many different, different um, shots that you can, you can choose from. Oh, I don't know which one, no, someone with open eyes, maybe. This one, really? oh. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one too. Safe. Yeah, safe. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so so here's here's something to keep in mind just for the future. Okay, from from the next video and on, it has to be more than fifteen seconds. Oh, okay. It has to be more than fifteen seconds. It has to be at least a minute. At least a minute. I don't want to bore them, but okay. No, yeah. you're not boring them at all. Not at all. Not at all. Don't even think that. You could be five minutes, 10 minutes to tell you the truth. You're not boring anyone at all at all. Remember, we're not looking for everyone. We're just looking for that small percentage of people that watch it. All right. Okay. But what we're really looking for is the percentage who watch 15 seconds of a one minute video. Okay, got it. Got it. Right? Not not 15 seconds of a 15 second video. That's That's fine, but there's not too much you can really educate me in 15 seconds on. Got it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, so yeah, in the future, you want to, you want to really look at this. You're now a teacher, Gabe. That's what you are, man. You're a teacher. You're not just a real estate professional. You're, a, you're a teacher. You teach people on what it takes okay. to buy. You okay. teach okay. people what it takes okay. to sell. Right. So as you put together these videos, look at it from that perspective where it's like, okay, what can I teach this audience today about selling? Got it. And a lot of times that, well, that's what my YouTube videos turned into. And that's why they're so damn long because I'm teaching. I'm not just pitching you something. I'm actually teaching you how to do the damn thing, right? Got so it. now yours don't have to be nowhere near that long, but but at least one minute. Okay, you know? I need to change my state of mind. Yes, yeah, so, so 
but this is good. This is good. So we're learning. And this is this is this is the first one. So we're gonna get better. So click the blue one, post. Okay, so now but you know what? Let's double check everything in the text, everything right? The text, everything look good? Yes. The text. Okay, so everything good right there, right? No, nothing's missing. Okay, post. Done. Okay, good. So now we have it on the page. So now what we want to do is we want to go back to the ads manager. And then we're going to go ahead and set up that ad. So yeah, that tab right there. Okay, perfect. So now we'll come straight over here and then go ahead and go ahead and X out the one selected, one selected, one selected, the blues at the top, one selected, one selected, one selected, X those out. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, just X those out. And those are, those are, those are there because you have a box checked. So we want to make sure we're out of that first ad. And now let's turn everything off. Turn the blue, shade it to gray. Yeah, do that on the, on that one and then click on the middle tab. Ad sets right at the top, the middle ad sets, click on that one and shade this one to gray. And then All do the same right. thing for the campaigns to the left, campaigns. Oh, campaigns. The tab okay. at the top. These are our three tabs. So you're going to always hear me referring to the three tabs, campaigns, ad sets, ads. These are our three tabs. So so you always want to make sure when the ad is off, always make sure that that, that um, is shaded gray. Okay, so so we're good there. So now, one selected, one selected, one selected. Let's X those out again. One selected. Get get rid of those blue ones, and then we'll we'll click the green one and start this next ad. Okay, perfect. So now create. Great. Okay. Now is the fun part. I know. Yes. So we're gonna go conversions. <coughs> continue, okay. right? And then and then continue. Yep. And then we'll just name it over here. We'll just give everything a title from this point on. So we're now in tab one, which is the campaigns. And that's all these three steps are, is those tabs. So we're in the campaign tab right now. So at the top, go ahead and name it, you know, outside on the boat dock or whatever, like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Perfect. And, and even put, even put video, put video one, put, put, put video yeah. one or, or, you know, let's get even more specific. And then in parentheses, put conversions. In parentheses, just go ahead and put conversions. Perfect. Okay. So special ad category, go ahead and, and turn that one to housing. You'll always go housing. And then next. Okay, perfect. And then we'll come to the second tab, which is the ad set. And this is where at the top, we'll just simply name it, name it Culver City. You know, name it just like we did the other one, Culver City, $10 a day. Um, you can just name that because that's where we're targeting. That's our budget. So it's just a nice little description for the title. So we're going website. That's fine. And then there is your conversion event, the seller guide, the seller guide leads. Um, and so we're fine there. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to just go ahead and change the light, change the daily budget. We're going to go lifetime. We'll go lifetime, and then we'll just change the the number to um to seventy, and sometimes by default it changes the dollar amount. But let's find out. So today's August August twenty eighth. What I would do is I would set it to start tomorrow. So it's always the next day at six a.m. You always want to give Facebook plenty of time to to approve the ad. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. So we'll always go seven days out and then um, 6 a.m. Okay, perfect. And then what we're going to do is we're going to simply, yeah, on, on this one, we'll just simply, we're not going to put any custom audiences right now. We're not going to do any of the custom audiences. We'll leave that part blank. We're going to go to locations, the United States. Let's change that to Culver City. So we'll edit. Okay. Yeah, Culver City. Perfect. First location, oh, Culver City here, right? Yeah, type it in, but you want to X out that United States at the top. Oh. Select this or? Yeah, Culver, always go with the drop down. Yes, always go with the drop down. You, so, should I put 20 miles or? Yeah, yeah, twenty miles is is good. That's a that's a good amount of of, of ground that you cover you, that you would cover there. Twenty miles. Or you have to press enter, I think. From yeah, always hit enter. Yeah, twenty and then enter, and that's it. 
And then what you want to do is, yeah, the drop down people living in, actually, that's a very important one. So the drop down above Culver City, above the 20 miles, that drop down, this is very important because they're all different. People living in or recently in, people living in, people recently in, people traveling, right? They're all very different. So you're going to always go, since we're going after sellers, we're going to always go with people living in. People living in. Yes. And then what we're going to also do. Yeah. So scroll down. So we're not going to change the age. We can't change gender. Um, the detail targeting. We're actually going to put in a couple words on the detail targeting. So edit. Going, edit. Yep. Edit that one. And the, 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 we're actually going to do two keywords. One of them. So go ahead and go back up to go back up to the detail targeting, click inside the box. So um, yeah, right there, click inside that box. All add demographics. Yeah, right there. We're going to type in home improvement, home improvement. And we're looking for the interest home improvement. There it is there. Perfect home improvement. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click out. No, go, no, 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 no. Just, just one word home improvement. Oh, it is there. Okay. Yeah, it's there. So click out. Yeah. And then, and then you're going to narrow the audience. So let's narrow the audience. And the next word is renovation, renovation. So I type it. Uh... So it's, yeah, so it's actually the bottom one, that, that bottom one. Yeah, that one right there. Type renovation. in renovation. Try hitting backspace. Let's see. Is it that bottom one? Okay. And that was interest. Okay. Perfect. So that's our target, man. We're targeting people in this particular case, click away, get rid of the drop down. move that drop. Yeah. Get rid of that drop down. Okay. So we're targeting people that have shown an interest in home improvement and renovation. So anyone that has an interest in those two key words, uh, you know, is, is, is likely to be selling, you know, so we'll start with those two keywords for now. And then we can always work on, and, and here's another, another thing too. Here, here, and here, here's something you want when it comes to testing, like whenever you hear, and, and now that you're diving into the whole Facebook ad and, and really now your mind is going to start getting acclimated to this type of community. And you're going to start, now your mind is going to start opening up to, to just the, the possibilities and the endless possibilities of, of, of marketing, um, in this particular arena of Facebook advertising, when it comes to, when you ever hear of testing, testing, different Facebook ads, testing, split testing, seeing what works, the way you split test, the way you test to see what works, one way is the ad, right? That's the obvious way is the video. One, one way to test is the actual ad. Maybe that ad wasn't the one. Maybe we, we need to do another video, right? That's one way to test. The second way to test, which is how most people test, is with the keywords. So putting one word for now is what you want to do. Because when you fill up the whole thing with a bunch of different keywords, you don't know, end up, you, you end up not knowing what word is the one that worked. So as I teach you, and as we move forward through our next few coaching calls, I'm going to teach you different keywords and different ways to test these keywords. So for example, right there where it says home improvement, right below home improvement, click on suggestions. So as we put an art to the right suggestions, as we put in our keyword, we can hit suggestions and now Facebook's going to give us all the other similar words. Interior design. What's the other one? Renovation. Renovation, real estate, furniture. Home uh, repair, right? Yes. So home repair could be a good one. So in the future, as we move on, we'll start making notes of all these different words because these are different words that we'll be using as we set up different ads, right? We don't got to do it now. But, but th that's how you split test. That's how you test. You test on different words. That's what I'm trying to say. So in this case, what we're doing today is we're going to test these two keywords, home improvement and renovation. But there's a, bu a bunch of keywords here that Facebook suggests su suggesting, and, and we can start working some of these words in the future as well. Got it. Okay. So let's scroll down. We're going to, we're going to, um, Let's leave it automatic placement. We're going to leave it automatic placement at the bottom. We'll leave it there, there and then just hit next. That's it. So we're going to hit next. And then we're on the third and final step. So over here, we're going to simply um, connect. Yeah, go ahead and click on, click on that and, and go to the Instagram account and 
And that's that perfect. And then right below you have ad setup, create ad, click that drop down, and you're going to go with use existing post because we posted it over there first. And now we're going to select post and we're going to choose that post. Okay, so it wasn't there just yet. So here's what you do. So here, and that's why I'm, I'm glad this is this is actually um, um, pulling up like this. Sometimes we just posted it and it actually takes a few minutes before it's actually on the page when it's a video. So what we ended up doing is we ended up coming here right away and setting up the ad. So it might, the video might not have been on the page just yet. And that's what this is showing us is that the, the video wasn't there just yet as we came here and set this up. So if you ever come over here and you click on select post and that and you don't see it there in the drop down, all you do is go to your business page. No, leave that. Leave that there. Go to your business page. No, no, no. no. You already have it open. It's already open to the left. Oh, okay. Yeah. So refresh this page. And now it should be here at the top over here on the page. And so what we want to do is go ahead and scroll down. Yeah. Okay. So now what you're what you're gonna do because it's not over there in the drop down, you're gonna click on the video. You're gonna open up the video, expand it. Go ahead and click on the video. Let it open up. Not that one. Just click on the video. Click on your face. Click on the video. Okay. So pause it. So as you open it up, go ahead and do it again. Open it up. Okay, so pause it right here. Okay, so as you open up the video up there at the top, your domain, the link, the URL, you see the numbers. Copy those numbers. The 206, copy those numbers at, at the top, the URL. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just Sorry. the numbers. Okay, just the numbers. Okay, copy that. Now, again, you're doing this because it didn't show when you select post. So go back to the ads manager. And now what you're going to do is you're oh, going to um, did I miss? close this one, close this one, close this tab, go back to the ads manager. Okay. So now right below the red triangle, you see enter post ID, click on that enter post ID right below the red triangle. Yeah. Enter post ID. Okay, so go ahead and paste it in right there and submit. Okay, so now copy that number, copy that number in the red, in the red, copy that number. Yes. No, the number in the red, in the red. Oh, see, sorry. Yeah, so copy that number and paste that number in. Oh. So you know, why, why is submit? Okay, so are you sure you're copying the exact number? So make sure there's no spaces. Make sure you're copying okay, okay, the exact okay. number. No, from the red. You copied it here, but yeah, you copied that one. That, that one's fine. But as you came over here and copied it in the red, make sure, go ahead and paste it. So what happened? Okay, so that's what you got to do. You got to grab the number, grab the number, come over here, put it here, and then it'll give you what 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 I, they'll this give you another weird. number and, and use that this one and then okay. there it is there so and that's when that's that's because we posted we just posted the video so we we had just posted that's why you you what you what you could have done or not not that you've known i mean now you know from this point on but it's not like you knew so i'm not blaming you or anything but for in the future put that video up on the business page maybe a day before got it got it right got it. we did it super fast and that's why facebook wasn't reading it so we had just put we had just put it up there, right? So sometimes now, is Facebook it going to be okay? This post ID, it's going to be okay to be used for this. Uh, yeah, the video's right there. That's it. Hit continue. Okay. Yeah. So now we're good. So that's where the post ID would go up there, and then there is the ad. There's the post. There's the video. So now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down. We're going to add a button. So the call to action. We're going to click on add button, and we're then that's going to be your landing page. So go to Kartra, grab your grab your landing page, and that's that that goes right there. Perfect. And then update post. We'll update post, and then um, now we'll simply 
yep, we'll update. And then now we'll come down and just simply make sure that our pixel. Okay, so you haven't selected, um, let's see, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, so you haven't selected a domain that prioritize your events. Actually, yeah, we have, we've already, we've already done that part. Yeah, so we're good there. So hit, hit publish. Publish? Yeah. Let's see if it gets stuck again. Actually, no, it should go pretty, should, should go pretty fast. And if it does, then we'll just publish it from another tab. Actually, yeah, it looks like it, it got stuck. So no big deal. Go, go ahead and go to um, open up a new tab. So yeah, so whenever that happens, it stuck, it's stuck in the blue publishing one of. Just open up, um, go back to the ads manager. And then you'll just simply publish it from over here. Yeah, there it is in the top right. So just hit that blue button. No, not, no, 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 not that. The top right, the blue button. Oh, we view the publish. Publish, yes. Okay, perfect. Now just close out the other, close out the other window, the other tab. Uh, not this one, but this one. Yeah, close out. Yeah, you can close out this one. Close out this one. Okay, perfect. So now go back to, um, so here's what you want to do right away. Here's what you want to do right away. The moment we just published it, three of three, it's green. Everything is scheduled. We're good. What you want to get in the habit of right away is going and setting up a custom audience. So now we're going to click on the three lines to the left and we're going to go to audiences. So all we're doing is building up audiences, all these audiences, audiences that are, that are watching these videos. That's, that's, that's what we're doing here. And then, and then, and then as we continue to drive traffic to the landing page, the audience right there, which is, which is seller guide visitors only that audience is going to continue to build as well. Cause now as people keep seeing the ad, they're clicking, they're going to the landing page, not opting in for whatever reason, that audience is going to continue to build the seller guide visitors, but also we're going to keep adding more video audiences. So click the blue one to the left, create audience and go to custom audience audience right click the three lines yeah you can you can go from there you can go from there but it's yeah it's audiences right here but no we're already here it's it's the blue click out of here would you i don't know what you clicked on click out of here get out of here get out no 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 just click click away it's the blue button to the left and then click on custom audiences oh, okay and then so right here you're going video and then next Okay, so now all you're gonna do is just simply hit the drop down, choose a content type, and then go with. That's why with 15 second video, ah, I see. Yeah, like we gotta we gotta now. So so in this case, we're looking for an audience who watches the whole damn thing, you know, because it's 15 seconds. So no more 15 second videos. But you're gonna have to go with that one. 15 seconds. Go with the 15 second one, and then. Um, choose videos right at the top in the blue, choose videos, and then just go ahead and find that video. Perfect. Check the box and then confirm. Okay. And then give it a name. So go to an audience, give it the audience name. Um, and just, I would name it the same as you named the ad, um, which was outside on boat dock video. Um, and then in parentheses, in parentheses, you'll put 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. okay now the 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 retention i would change the 365 i would i would probably put i would probably put maybe 60 days the longest 60 days anyone who's watched this video in the past 60 days remains in this audience um because anything after that people are not going to remember you know so create audience that's it perfect okay we're good okay so now click on done and that's it that's so now we're going to click the three lines to the left. Let's go back to the ads manager and let's just review it real quick. So ads manager. Okay, perfect. And then, so now we have it there at the top. We see, check the box to the left of the blue circle on the first one, check that box. Okay. So this one, we're in the campaign tab, right? The tab tab, everything is tabs. This is the campaign tab. We're scheduled. Click on the middle tab. Ad sets, this one over here, 
scheduled. That means it's already been approved. Facebook already approved the, the category of housing. They've already approved the budget, the targeting, um, the, the, the conversion event. That's all in the ad set. And then, the, and then to the right, the third tab, the ad, this one will be still in review. So now they're reviewing the video. So click on the third tab to the right, ads for one campaign. So this will be in review. So Facebook They'll email you later on today, maybe in a few hours, and that email will be titled, your ad is scheduled or running. And that's when you know it's approved and it's ready to go tomorrow morning. So one thing you want to do real quick, go to Kartra, go to the Kartra tab, and then let's just go to pages really quick. But any any questions on the conversion ad? No. Pretty straightforward? Yeah. Okay, good. 